seconds to the right authorities. AA Lock, Dock, and Security is your company for your home and your business. AA Lock, Dock, and Security, where you can get that extra key made or have your lock rekeyed. Questions to protect your home and business? Call 352-867-1965. Or stop by AA Lock, Dock, and Security at their new location, 219 Northwest 10th Street here in Ocala. Remember, be proactive, not reacting after it happens. Call 352-867-1965. 352-867-1965. Twenty-four minutes after eight o'clock, and it's time now for other news. These are the stories that don't fit anywhere else, so we squeeze them in right here. First one comes out of Knightstown, Ireland. Knightstown. Okay. Volunteers from the Irish Coast Guard found the lost beagle yesterday in a cliff crevice on Valencia Island oh. and returned the dog to its family. Oh, the how beagle wonderful. named Shandon had been missing for almost three days, according to the Irish Independent newspaper. It wandered off while out for a walk with David O'Connor on a path on top of Foger Hills on the island in southwestern Kerry. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Kerry County, God, southwestern Kerry. still alive. There you go. So the dog was found. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, cute little doggy. Next story is out of Italy. Let's say where an Italian man was arrested in Dublin. Hmm, maybe it's out of Ireland. On charges and in, in charged with killing his Irish landlord and attempting to eat his heart. Oh, oh, oh! That is absolutely sick. After an argument about a chess game. Oh, oh! P- please that is, say oh. the 34-year-old man named Severio Belante admitted to killing 39-year-old Tom O'Gorman. O'Gorman's well, body had been stabbed dozens of times and his chest cavity was opened up. Oh. Although the heart was still in his body, a lung was missing. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm not oh reading that Oh, my anymore. God. This is disgusting. Sorry, no more. I won't read it. <laughs> oh. Uh, all right. This is, this is one that was actually in the news the other day, but I'll, I'll read it again because it's kind of a funny one. Uh, an Australian columnist paired a photograph of her model best friend with the worst fake dating profile in history in an experiment to see just how low men would go to get a pretty girl. As you can probably guess, she got lots of responses. Allie Reed was hoping to prove that there exists an online dating profile so loathsome, loathsome that no man would message it, but ended up discovering that some men just don't have any limits. As if her profile name, Aaron Carter fan, wasn't bad enough. She indicated that she was mean, spoiled, lazy, racist, manipulative, and a gold digger. <laughs> Even a skill like being good at convincing people I'm pregnant, LOL, and never wanting to be without money, my car, my phone, keeping America American, my family, my friends, and Aaron Carter weren't enough to keep away in a man. <laughs> After reading 500 messages from men who apparently had just slapped their selves on the keyboard a few times and pressed send <laughs> they just wanted her because she's drop dead gorgeous that's it of course Hello. That's, you know who cares Hello. about what you write as long as you're gorgeous Hello. you got it <laughs> men will fall all over you and she will never know the men that didn't write how about that yeah she only exactly. knows the men that did write so congratulations on filtering <laughs> in the undesirable that's right <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, the next one is. Oh, wow. Here we go. Okay. From the UPI. Where is it from, though? I'm not sure. Okay. After a former assistant disappeared and began messing with her social media accounts, adult film star Jenna Jamison took to 4chan, whatever that is, on Friday night in an effort to track down her ex employee. Oh. Uh, she wrote, my ex-assistant, who goes by the name of Alan Sedina, turned out to be a con artist. I do not know if Sedina is his last name. I finally found him out and fired him. Since he was privy to my personal information, such as passwords, he reset and probably deleted my Twitter at Jenna Jameson and has also removed all pictures of me and him from my Instagram. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, before they would honor the 39-year-old's request for help, the community asked Jameson to take a variety of uh, photos, including one involving a dark-colored shoe. <laughs> of to, course. To prove her identity. If It didn't take long for 4chan <laughs> users to track down the ex-assistant's address. 
So now we don't know what 4chan is. We got to look it up. Yeah. Yeah, we have to. <laughs> Whatever that is. And the dark colored shoe. 4chan. <laughs> Our next story is... Um, so she's got her Instagram and her Twitter account I have back no idea. Then. <laughs> next story is out of Newington, Connecticut. Authorities in Newington say they are searching for a man who crashed a station wagon into a convenience store and then stole one banana. Okay. Police say surveillance video of the 1.45 a.m. Wednesday incident shows a man repeatedly backing a station wagon into a glass door of the Sitco oh. gas station in oh. Newington oh. until the glass breaks. <laughs> Sergeant Christopher Perry said the man then gets out of the car, takes a banana from the shelf, peels it, and eats it. <laughs> and then the man gets in his car and drives away. Oh, nice. He didn't steal anything else. Just a <laughs> banana. Boy, well, he's got issues. They probably ripped him off. He's probably thinking they ripped him off of a banana. They owe him one. <laughs> they owe him. So he's you owe me a banana. <laughs> uh, and uh, this this story, I think I heard this one the other day from Tom Schmitz. Actually, the 420 mile marker in Colorado has been changed to 419.99 to prevent thefts. As you may know, 420 is often. Uh, slang for marijuana since oh uh, I didn't know that Colorado became uh, recreational marijuana became legal in Colorado that's right all right uh, so the 420 mile marker is now 499.9 all right let's go forward and be right back after Mike Huckabee this is the Huckabee report for Tuesday I'm Mike Huckabee from Santa Rosa Beach Florida truth or treason it's all in the timing that story is next Marsha's identity thief wasn't a stranger. It was her best friend, her roommate. She put Marsha close to $100,000 in debt, and Marsha ended up losing her home. A few years later, it almost happened again, but this time she was armed with the proactive protection of LifeLock services. She again knew the thief trying to steal her identity. It was her son's friend attempting to get a loan in Marsha's name. With LifeLock's help, Marsha was able to stop the fraudulent loan before it could damage her finances and good name. Marsha found out the hard way that no matter how careful we are, no one can stop all identity theft. And that's why I protect myself with LifeLock Ultimate. Don't think identity theft will never happen to you. Do what I did. Arm yourself with LifeLock Ultimate. Visit LifeLock.com now and enter promo code Huckabee or call and mention Huckabee for 10% off your LifeLock membership. Call 1-800-240-LOCK. 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 Network does not cover all transactions and scope may vary. Former Defense Secretary Robert Gates has a new memoir out that says some good things about President Obama and some bad things, and some very bad things about Joe Biden. Obama's defenders can't dismiss the critic as an uninformed outsider, so they're attacking his timing. They say Gates should have waited till Obama left office, and even some top Republicans like John McCain and Marco Rubio agree. But Obama may have a tough time making that defense. There used to be a gentleman's agreement that presidents never attack other presidents. It was to set a national example of showing respect for the office and its burdens that only those who had held it fully understood. Obama's people threw open the door on criticizing other presidents by blaming every problem on George W. Bush, both before and long after Obama took office. It's hard to cry foul when you yourself let in the dog that bites you in the rear. CNN reported that federal officials are probing the lane closure that caused a traffic jam in New York to see if New Jersey Governor Chris Christie or his staffers violated any federal laws. And it's a serious matter, although one that probably doesn't warrant making a federal case out of it. Still, I can't help wondering where the Justice Department's burning curiosity about violations of federal laws and abuses of power might have been when the Obama administration was playing politics with the government shutdown by needlessly barricading open-air memorials and shutting down vital roads that just happened to pass through national parklands. Or when the IRS was targeting Tea Party groups. Well, maybe, just to be fair, they should appoint one of Christie's political supporters to investigate him. After all, they just appointed a major donor to Obama's re-election in the DNC as the lead justice attorney investigating the IRS targeting scandal. Oh, you hadn't heard about that? Well, the media probably didn't have time to report it because there was too much news to report about that traffic jam in New Jersey. Finally, a lot of groups these days seemingly compete for the title of most oppressed, but you seldom hear about one of the truly most oppressed groups of all, Christians. A new study by the non-denominational group Open Doors found that last year, 
2,123 Christians worldwide were killed just for holding their faith. That's double what it was in 2011. More than half of the murders of Christians for their faith last year happened in Syria, followed by Nigeria and Pakistan. But one of the most dangerous places for a Christian is North Korea. There are about 300,000 Christians living under dictator Kim Jong-un. The official policy is that if they're even caught with a Bible, they'll be executed or sentenced to prison-like concentration camps. Open Doors estimates there are 50 to 70,000 Christians in camps like that today. But what's the only news we hear about North Korea? That Dennis Rodman goes there to play basketball and act like an idiot. And this is the Huckabee Report. Are you an embarrassment on the dance floor? Do you confuse state capitals, make runny scrambled eggs, and read too many celebrity gossip magazines? Do you drink milk straight from the carton, think trigonometry is a planet, and snore louder than a Kodiak bear? Well, if you answered yes to any of the above questions, you may have what it takes to adopt a teen from foster care. Because teens don't need perfection, they need you. So if you bite your nails like they're a snack food, think an MP3 is a computer virus, can't tell a right angle from an acute, constantly lose the remote, can't parallel park, confuse hip-hop with double dutch, and are afraid of spiders, dentists, and clowns, it's okay. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who would love to put up with you. For more information on how you can adopt, call 1-888-200-4005 or go to adoptuskids.org. A public service announcement brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Hi, this is Brad. I want to take a moment to talk about a serious issue. In the next five years, the aviation industry is projected to have a shortage of commercial pilots. Now is the time to start training. Ocala Flying Club has started a scholarship for the youth of Marion County ages 17 to 24. The club will donate up to $4,000 towards a pilot's license. This will help get the student on their way to obtain their commercial pilot license. If this sounds like something you would be interested in, or if you know someone that would be, please contact Ocala Aviation Services, 861-7484. The Huckabee Report is brought to you by Dairy Queen, Silver Springs, Ocala. Howdy, R.L. here to tell you about a great deal at Dairy Queen. For only $4.49, you can warm up to a hot, juicy combo of either a foot-long, quarter-pound all-beef chili dog or a tasty, home-style cheeseburger. Smoking hot off the char grill. Both get fries and a drink. You can add a Sunday for only 99 cents. Now that's a doggone good deal at Dairy Queen Silver Springs, where they always treat you like kings and queens. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Life jackets save lives. We're in Florida. Today will be cloudy with occasional rain and a thunderstorm around through the morning and early afternoon hours before it dries out late today with highs in the 70s. Clearing and turning colder tonight with lows anywhere from 46 well inland to 54 along the coast. Some sunshine tomorrow, high 66 to 70. Thursday, mostly sunny, breezy, and cooler high just 50 to 54. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Ocala's Information Station, 1370 WOCA. Ocala!